Every day it's getting harder and harder to be a Christian. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today we're talking about the Beatitudes. It's our last episode about the Beatitudes, and today's episode is all about persecution. Yeah, see, Jesus said, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus continued on and he said, Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who are before you. Now, being persecuted means being treated badly because of you know who you are or what you like or what you believe. And so for us, being persecuted means people treating you badly because of your belief in Jesus Christ, because you you believe that he's the son of God and you want to live the way that he has told us to live. And persecution can be something as small as, you know, just not being invited to something because of what you believe, all the way up to, you know, you could even be killed for believing in Jesus Christ. You know, it's really important to people to fit in, right? You know, I don't, I don't know. Have you ever seen chickens? Like not just on TV, like seeing a chicken, but like actually watched chickens interacting with each other. You see, my neighbor down the street, he's got chickens. And one time he went on vacation and he asked my family if we could come watch his chickens. And so every day we'd go down and we'd, we'd feed his chickens. And chickens are really interesting because see, chickens do this thing. They're, chickens are mean. They do this thing where if there's one chicken that isn't like the other chickens, they'll like peck at it. They'll like bite it. And they'll keep pecking at it and keep biting it. And people do that too for even silly stuff. You know, if you're not wearing the right clothes or maybe you don't like the right game that everybody likes or the right movies, people will like, you know, peck at you. You know, they're not, not going to bite you, but they'll make fun of you or maybe they'll insult you almost as if to say, hey, cut that out. You need to be just like us. And people will do that again about silly stuff like what you're wearing or what your favorite movie is. But people will definitely do that about what you believe about God. And nobody likes to be made fun of. But Jesus said that you and I are blessed if we're persecuted because of Jesus. I think not just here in America, but all over the world, it's getting harder and harder to be a Christian. It's getting harder and harder to believe what is right and to do what is right without getting pecked at. You know what I mean? And I hear a lot of people who are really mad about that. You know, they say, you know, America was founded on Christian principles and, you know, this is terrible. That It's no longer easy to be a Christian now. But after Jesus said, blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, or falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. After that, he said, rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. Now, don't get me wrong. Being persecuted is not fun. But what is it compared to the amazing gifts that God can give and will give? You know, I don't know if you ever like sat down and thought about what eternity looks like. You know, Jesus said that if you believe in him, you'll have eternal life. And eternal is a long time. Eternal means that it never ends. You know, here on earth, we might have like, 80 or 90 years, maybe more than that, if you're lucky. And compared to eternity, that's like literally nothing. And you know, people really like to fit in and, and there are benefits to fitting in. You know, if you if you do as everybody says we're going to do, you know, they won't make fun of you and they might be friends with you. Yeah, there's rewards to fitting in. But A, how big are those rewards? And B, how long do they last? Are they bigger than the rewards that God can give you? Will they last longer than the rewards that God will give you? And you know, there's really three ways that people can respond to being persecuted. You know, on the one hand, they could just give in. You know, if someone says it's not okay to be a Christian, they'll say, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Not okay to be a Christian. And unfortunately, a lot of people will do that. They might say that they're a Christian, but they'll decide that they're not going to believe that God's word is true. They're not going to believe that when Jesus said something in the Bible that he actually said that or actually meant it. They'll say, oh, yeah, Jesus actually meant what you guys are saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go with that. And that's not okay. But the second reaction to being persecuted for being a Christian is also not okay. You know, there are lots of Christians who, when people insult them or they persecute them or they falsely say all kinds of evil things about them because of their belief in Jesus Christ, they decide that they're going to insult the other people. They're going to insult those people and persecute them and falsely say all kinds of evil things about them for what they believe. That's not the way to do it at all. No, that just leads to hate and more fighting. And, and really, it, it kind of shows a lack of trust in God. Now, the third response, that's the correct response. Jesus said that if you are persecuted... You should rejoice and be glad. Don't be scared or sad or mad. Be glad because great is your reward in heaven. Now, even if you are persecuted really bad, even if you're persecuted to the point of death, 
No mean or terrible or awful thing that anyone could ever do to you can even compare to the reward that is waiting for you, the eternal and everlasting reward that God has for you. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would rejoice and be glad when you are persecuted. Don't give in by either just caving and agreeing with what everybody says or give in by fighting with them and insulting them and, and you know fighting fire with fire. If you're persecuted because you believe in Jesus Christ and you want to live the way that he has called you to live, don't be sad and don't be mad, but rejoice and be glad, for great is your reward in heaven forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. And hey, if you would like to help support this channel, if you'd like to help support my ministry, you should totally check out my Patreon page. Yeah, see the people over here with their names scrolling up? Those are all people who help support my ministry on Patreon. But yeah, if you'd like to see your name over there in the credits, you should totally check out my Patreon page. And everybody who supports me on Patreon, you know, they get they get like different kinds of rewards depending on how much you give. And so everybody who gives anything, even a dollar a month, I'll send you a personalized thank you video from me to you or, you know, your grandkids or whoever. But then there's other rewards like, you know, seeing your name over there. And at certain tiers, you can see my videos before everybody else gets to see them on YouTube, all kinds of stuff. You should totally check it out. Thanks, guys. You are the best.